All right, cheers, everyone, and welcome back to Instant Screaming. Today, I got two pretty good movies available, which is always a great thing, because I like to say nice things. So first up is Afflicted, available on Amazon. Afflicted is probably one of the best found footage movies I've ever seen. After being diagnosed with a rare brain condition that could result in his sudden death at any moment, IT guy Derek Lee quits his job to travel the world with his best friend and documentarian, Cliff Prouse. Through an arsenal of cameras, Cliff will turn their adventures into an online travel series. However, while in Paris, Derek contracts an illness that may be even more serious than the one he already has. Afflicted has managed to avoid just about every major stumbling block of found footage movies that I can think of. The relationship between the main characters is very realistic and heartwarming, and the justification for the found footage is easily accepted and sensible. Pains have been taken here to make the supernatural elements of the movie feel very real and not out of place at all. The characters take their time and don't immediately land on all the right answers, and it makes sense for the most part for them to continue filming as weird things begin to happen. That said, the strength of this movie is really the strong character writing of Derek and Cliff and has a decent amount of emotional torque as it works its way through its final act. I rented this on Amazon a while back and it seems to be free now to Prime members and is well worth checking out. Movie 2 is The Resort, available on Netflix. After a devastating war between zombies and humans, an entrepreneur opens a high-end resort on a tropical island where guests can pay top dollar to hunt the undead safari style. One day, the security system fails, releasing the ravenous horde. This is actually an impressively solid zombie flick. It plays mostly on action, but dips its toe just enough into morality play to check an intellectual box. I sound cynical about that, but it's not a bad thing, and it's mostly shown through the events of the plot rather than the characters endlessly hand-wringing about the morality of killing the formerly living. The most absurdist point of the whole thing is the existence of zombie rights activism. Now, this isn't the first time I've seen this in a movie, but this is the first movie that has played it without any irony at all. Though there are these news reports that bookend the movie and add a slight tinge of self-awareness that calls back to Rekill, which was also a pretty excellent zombie adventure. All in all, fun, fast-paced, and just gory enough not to drown the story. Hopefully that helps you out. Feel free to leave a comment below, like, and subscribe for more videos. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you next week. Cheers.